This is going to be a, a first video in a series of video on how to use the software to set up the Cortex, fine tune it, change things that you need to change if you're not able to mount it with the standard orientation plug bank up and facing forward. So in this video I'm going to first cover how we hook up the Cortex and what needs to be done to make sure we're ready to go and use the software. So on the Cortex, when we first plug it in, we're going to make sure that we plug the USB cable into the farthest right port with the white striped wire facing towards the label. So if you're looking at the Cortex like this, this is the furthest right port. I went ahead and plugged in all the Cortex inputs into the six channel receiver here with the exception of port E, the green wire, because I only have six channels. And I'm using a switch with a receiver battery to power the Cortex off of one of the servo outputs. You have to do this because unlike a Castle Creations item, the USB port does not power the Cortex. Uh, there's no wire here to power the Cortex, so you have to provide an external power source. And again, I like to use the switch because it helps me power cycle the Cortex quickly without having to fiddle around and unplug a battery. But you can plug the battery directly into the Cortex if necessary. I have my radio. It's all set up, bound to this receiver. So I'm able to control the Cortex mode via the receiver and make any changes I need to make inside the radio when I start up the software here. So we're going to power on the radio. Power on the Cortex. So with the radio on, Cortex on, we can see that I'm in bank two or hold mode. And again, this I programmed this switch to control the Cortex mode. There is the Cortex off, LED is red. Here's the Cortex in bank one or rate mode. If you still are in factory defaults, the LED is amber. The software is installed on the computer. Uh, one thing to note that when you're installing the software on the computer, make sure you install the software first before plugging in the USB port. Because the USB plug, sometimes I've seen the driver fail to install if you plug it in first before installing the software. So make sure you install the software first, let the software completely install, and if you can, restart the computer, then plug in the USB cable and then the driver should install correctly. If you have an issue where the drivers don't install correctly, go ahead and uninstall the Cortex software and reinstall it again, and then give it a try of plugging in the USB cable and seeing if it works then. I'll show you here in the software so you know how the USB cable is correctly recognized. But this is what we're gonna have set up. We have everything on and ready to go. The next portion is gonna be inside the computer.